Please bow your heads as we speak with God. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Lord our God, be with us in this place. Dear Lord, make this your classroom. Make this your sanctuary. Make this the station at which your children can be blessed, anointed. Make this the place where we can be empowered to understand your will and your way. Dear Lord, speak to me and through me. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable and pleasing in thy sight, O Lord. Hide me behind your rugged cross. Let everything that is heard be your word. All that is seen be your vision. All that is understood be the message that you have prepared for each man, woman, and child who have gathered in your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, if we look it up in the dictionary, the dictionary will tell you that a paradox is a statement or group of statements that leads to a contradiction or a situation which defies intuition. You know, in layman's terms, a paradox is something that just don't make no sense. The truth about our most powerful prayers is that really when we look at them, Based on what we think we know about prayer and what we're used to doing in prayer, they really don't seem to make any sense. We tend to think about prayer the way we tend to think about a, a spare tire or an emergency room flare. We'll carry it around in the trunk. Everybody got a spare in the car? Maybe an emergency room flare. We carry it around in, in, our, in, our, in our trunk and as we travel the, the roads of our day-to-day -day lives, but we only really think about the spare or the flare in the midst of a personal crisis. You know, many people see prayer simply as a self-help tool that we maintain for our own personal security. Many people seek to, to use prayer as an instrument of intervention that can help us to personally overcome our obstacles when we need it. And prayers connected to God's purpose and God's presence can indeed at times serve all of these functions. Yet the paradox, the paradox of our most powerful prayers is that the less we seek to help ourselves, the more help that we receive. The, the more that we surrender, the better able we are to overcome. The extent to which we forget about ourselves and concentrate on him and our prayers, the greater we are remembered by God. You see, a, a powerful prayer, a powerful prayer is one that is connected to a listening God. A, a powerful prayer changes things. A powerful prayer changes lives and even changes the person who prays the prayer. And a weak prayer, a weak, weak prayer is one that is disconnected from God. It is disconnected from the purpose and the presence. It is a prayer that is typically ignored or denied, and the only outcomes of the prayer are bent backs, bad knees, and unmet wishes. Somebody knows about that. In James 4 and 3, Scripture says, When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with the wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your own pleasure. And if we look throughout the Bible, the Bible is littered with weak, self-centered, spare tire, and road flare prayers where God ignores and or denies. Old Testament. Time and time again, King Saul selfishly prays for personal help and personal guidance, but God doesn't answer him. In the midst of, of, of baby mama drama, King David cries out and asks for the Lord to, to, to keep and save his son, but God says no. If you look to the stories of Elijah and, and Jonah, there are times when both of them are so depressed, they're so caught up with their own issues and their own challenges and their own struggles, they pray to God, oh God, just relieve me of this, take my life, end it all. And God says no, because he still has work for them to do on behalf 
of other people and their requests are denied. But it doesn't just end in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we can look in the Gospel of Mark where the disciples, James and John, ask for the, the highest rank in the kingdom of God. But Jesus tells them that they first have to be servants to one another.